What is AutoCAD? Obviously, you have some sort of a concept as to what AutoCAD is or can do, or else you wouldn't be here right now. There are many things that it is and many things that it is not. AutoCAD has been around since Autodesk first released it way back in 1982. Back then, it merely drew lines and added single line text. Today, AutoCAD is a design tool, a drawing tool, a modeling tool, and a database manager. The data it manages can be in many forms, raw data, points, lines, images, and more. The things that AutoCAD designs, draws, and models are limitless. Many architects, engineers, and textile designers use AutoCAD to make their designs. AutoCAD 2015 is the 29th release of AutoCAD and was issued in March and April of 2014. It added many new features to AutoCAD's abilities. You can see many of those in our What's New in AutoCAD 2015 chapter. AutoCAD has many advantages to drawing things by hand. Many of the advantages it gives you are due to the nature of digital design and to using computers. The data in the drawing file is more easily edited and repeated. AutoCAD can help to generate data or line work that we would always have to input by hand. It also links data from multiple sources and can share its data with others. These are the reasons we use CAD. It allows us to do more because we have to do less. After all, CAD is an acronym for Computer Aided Design. What can we make with AutoCAD? Anything that needs to be constructed, modified, developed, or illustrated. It's not just for engineers and architects, though these groups would be the most common users of AutoCAD. Textile designers use it, surveyors use it, and even movie makers use AutoCAD. AutoCAD is also used in museums to lay out displays. So there are too many uses for AutoCAD for us to list. There are, though, two ways to look at the files that are created in AutoCAD. One is to look at them as drawings. The other is to look at them as data. In fact, though, both cases are true and both have their place. Most of the files that we will look at in this tutorial will be drawing files. But we will also look at data files. Don't assume that data is just a list of names or numbers. Anything needed for a design purpose is data. The lines we create in CAD are data. The points that we insert and define are data. Images we attach, and especially like aerial photographs, are all full of data used in our design process. Data can be gotten from many different sources. It's important to know what it is and how you need to use it. These cases will vary from project to project and industry to industry. In the case of an architect, some of the data required will be site or lot information. An architect will also need to know the local building code and regulations. Other data might include the existing conditions of the job site, and building requirements from the client. An architect will take this data and insert it into AutoCAD in many different ways. Most of that will be via drafting techniques. That information will be placed in a data file. Now that the data has been placed into CAD, the architect needs to create a drawing file. A drawing file will have the title block information, notes, instructions, as well as the line work necessary to display the model that was designed in the data file. Sometimes these two files will be combined into one file, and that's perfectly fine. Other times they will be kept separate. It'll just depend on the scope and the needs of the project. AutoCAD allows us to do this. In a hand or board drawing, the drawing is the data file. They are not kept separate. You can't do that. This is just one of the many advantages to using CAD as opposed to manual drawings. Now, AutoCAD has come a long way from its initial creation back in the early 1980s. What was once a 2D drafting aid is now a full-fledged 3D modeling design tool. Not everyone has a need for full-out 3D, but we have to start somewhere. So once you have mastered the 2D aspects of AutoCAD, you will be ready to progress into a much larger and more realistic world.